Hi ladies, I am here just to do a little um, shout out um, awareness for autism and um, Kathy over at Kathy's Favorite Things is doing a giveaway for the month of April, autism awareness and uh, autism touches so many people including myself. So. I have a five-year-old granddaughter. She will be six in May, and she is a nonverbal autist, has autism, and she was diagnosed when she was almost three. We kind of knew because when her milestones came for talking, that that wasn't happening. So we were able to get her a diagnosis pretty quickly. But I have to tell you, for a little girl that has no words, she is very loud <laughs> and she's amazing. I, I'm, I'm in awe over her. She is uber smart, just super intelligent. And even though she doesn't have words, she will definitely let you know um, what she needs and I think that is an amazing superpower I tell her all the time she has a superpower because she doesn't say a word but you know exactly what the child needs so anyways I love her dearly and close to my heart um, for autism awareness I my husband's brother I'm an auntie to a six-year-old boy um, and he is great. He is verbal, but uh, he's hilarious. I hadn't seen him for a really long time because of COVID and stuff. But like, I think it was last month, he, his dad brought him over um, during the day and it was just me. And I have four teenagers that live at home with me and they're really tall. Like the shortest teenager I have is 6'1", and the tallest I think is five. I mean, six five or six six. Anyway, they're really tall, and my little nephew was saying, calling them giants, and I made a joke about um, being the only woman because all everybody here is male except for my, myself. I said something like, "I was a woman living in a house with a bunch of giants" or something like that, and so he started calling me woman which is hilarious. He tells his dad that he wants to go see the woman with the giants. So that's funny. He's a, he's a fantastic little guy. Um, but he was diagnosed with autism as well when he was, I think, around three also, as from what I remember. But he's, um, I'm glad he's verbal at least and, you know, Ha he's got a great personality. Anyways, um, autism is something that we all need to, you know, really be aware of. It is definitely more and more and more out there every day. And, um, you know, being passionate and considerate of um, others with that suffer with that. Um, but everybody, all the people and children that I have ever met with autism are incredibly intelligent people like they are so smart they're so I can't even express it's like they're too cool to have words that's what I tell my granddaughter you're awesome you don't even need to talk you're so cool you don't need to say anything so you know I think that that's you know, a real misconception for a lot of people that aren't aware or don't understand what autism is, is people with autism are incredibly smart individuals, almost too smart, if you ask me. So anyways, that's my little shout out. I will leave Kathy's favorite things, um, share her link below. I made these last year for um, uh, autism awareness and I did a lot of mixed media so this is a large puzzle piece from the Dollar Tree 
um, chipboard and I just glued on all the elements and I painted it black with black gesso and then I painted it with the sparks pa paint and added a little it's a little these hang right over here on my craft area I've given several of these altered um, puzzle pieces away um, but these two I've actually kept and I have a whole bag full of puzzle pieces and when I get in my mixed media mood I will sit down and make a whole bunch of these again sometime soon maybe I'll do that this month and in honor of so this is in honor of autism month this is a resin piece I have a mold and I pour resin or I use air dry clay for the moon and for the wings and for the stars so all these pieces came out of my uh, molds that I've done this background piece right here is actually a brass metal piece but once I've covered it with the black gesso and then added the paint it it's mixed media is a passion I was actually in to mixed media before I ever became a paper crafter. Well, kind of. So I was a scrapbooker and then I went to mixed media and then I went into the, the paper crafts that we all do now. So I have a lot of mixed media stuff that I um, play with. So anyways, I just wanted to give a shout out and share and show you and bring awareness to you and give you a little bit of a backstory on why it touches my life and thank you all have a great day